so that's a lot of what I'll give you here. Um, as much useful stuff as I can. Um, it's easy. For, I'm thrilled, really, to be here because I sit in and I often like, write a book. <laughs> and you guys are out there actually doing it. I'm, I'm envious, and it's easy for me to kind of drift away from reality and think, oh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> but there's, I, I, I admire and, and appreciate you guys for out there actually doing it. That's why I love listening to Coop, because he's doing this, but he's actually the head coach still. So here's what we're dealing with. This is primal pitching, where your guy turns into a caveman. He's out there and just throw it harder. Gah, gah. And here he spirals out of control. Oops, darn, I'm losing it. I'm terrible, help. It just whew, snowballs out on him. He's good in practice, but then it snowballs out on him. And here's the results or emotional roller coaster where it's like, oh, I got a hit. I made a play. I'm the man. Oh, I got out. I suck. Oh, I got a hit. I'm the man. It's that results roller coaster, and baseball has so much failure in it, we just can't afford to do that. What a, a good player and a good team has an approach that enables them, that they're, they're becomes the focus of what they're doing is their approach to the game, not the results. One of the things that we've done in this book is we've come up with 12 like slogans, trying to, to answer like this very thing that you spoke to, the 12 strategies and one is keep your controllables greater than your uncontrollables. They all have this basic uh, format. And keep this pitch greater than any other. How can, and keep your process greater than your outcome.